Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to our channel. So if you watched our recent video, yes, we are in the nesting phase. I am just on the cusp of third trimester in my third plant-based pregnancy. So we have been very focused on stocking up. So you guys may have heard we recently got a Costco membership and we did our first official Costco food haul, but not just any old food haul. This is a whole foods plant-based and USDA organic food haul. Overall, I will say we were very pleased with what we found in the frozen aisles as far as fruits and veggies go, and bulk nuts, seeds, and nut and seed butters, things like oats, grains, and beans. An area that may have fallen a little short for us was the variety of fresh organic produce, but we still did find many of the staples. If you guys have been around here for a while, then you know Sun Warrior Protein and Supplements has been our one-stop shop for almost all of our supplement needs, and they also offer offer bulk options and bundles that again, help you to save and to stock up. So that's something we always do on a monthly basis with Sun Warrior. And an even better discount through our Eat Move Rest Club, which is our yearly membership. I'll link that below for you as well. Some of our Sun Warrior favorites are the vanilla and chocolate warrior blends. They also have an unflavored option. We're also huge fans of the Ormus Super Greens Liquid Light, which is loaded with trace minerals and makes the perfect electrolyte drink to add into your water bottle. We also use the Algae Omega on a daily basis. We love their liquid magnesium. Dusty uses the creatine. So if you guys are interested, you can check out Sun Warrior and get 20% off any products and 30% off when you buy in bulk or buying one of their bundles. So let's go to Costco and check it out. I dancing to the music and wandering 20 feet in front of us. Hey you guys, so we have spent the entire day doing all kinds of fun things and our very last stop was none other than Costco. We asked so many of you for recommendations as to what whole food plant-based items to find here, especially organic, and we got so many recommendations, so we figured we better go back and do a video for you guys. So let's see what we can find. Hey guys, so I'm actually super surprised to find as much organic as we have. We just walked in the door, I see organic stuff everywhere. Right off the bat, maple syrup. This is our choice for liquid sweetener and our baked goods, pancakes, waffles, all the things. So we're gonna stock up. This is actually a brand we know and love. We use some of their cereals right off the bat. It's USDA organic, it says probiotic cultures, but unfortunately it doesn't quite pass the test being that the second ingredient is cane sugar. Sad day, but maybe we can find some other things from this brand. But we also wanna clue you in on some things that look shining on the outside with the USDA organic stamp of approval. Make sure you're always flipping it over and reading the ingredients list as well. So when we were back in Nebraska, Aaron's mom had a bunch of these bulk organic and sprouted, even glyphosate free. Even though it's organic, they're not always glyphosate free. Oats are notorious for still having Roundup residue in them. So we love this brand. Sprouted actually makes for a more nutritious product. It's easier to digest, so we love that. This is a big old bag, and we're probably gonna buy two or three of them. So we came across a whole bunch of organic canned tomato products, diced tomatoes, tomato paste, and tomato sauce, all of which we use in our soups, stews, and curries, and lasagna. So another solid find. So yeah, we go to Whole Foods and we buy these same products in the jar which we prefer but it's so so much more i'm like okay i think we can buy it buy the can to save some money so actually super glad we found these so i buy my fancy dancy raw organic almond butter but max will literally sit and eat a whole jar and then i'm like oh my gosh do you know how expensive that was and it lasts me a long time we just found the perfect alternative for the kiddos here this one has one ingredient and it's organic, so this is a win. And another win, organic peanut butter, same thing. The kids drizzle it on their smoothies, on oatmeal, everything, and we go through it like crazy. So rather than getting like some kind of raw vegan fancy stuff, this, two ingredients, dry roasted almonds and sea salt. The main culprits usually hiding in these, if you don't look at the back, are cane sugar and oil. We find it most efficient and affordable to buy dried beans and grains for the most part, but we did actually just find a big box of canned 
organic chickpeas. We're not gonna get these because like I said, we buy them dried by the bag, but this is a good option if you're looking for them. And there's black beans here too. Big old bag of organic dry quinoa and a big bag of our favorite type of rice. This is brown basmati rice. A lot of people say, oh, I would love to go vegan, but it's so expensive. Literally, you guys, you can buy 25, 30 pound bags of this stuff. Dried beans, dried brown rice, quinoa, lentils, all the things. It's dirt cheap. This is like $13 for like 20 pounds of rice. It's crazy. It's not that expensive. It doesn't have to be. Chia and hemp, organic, plenty of this. We use it for baked goods, smoothies, oatmeal. We like to always pour a little bit into mason jars and keep it in the fridge just so it's easy access along with other all of our other smoothie and breakfast goods. This giant bag is only 10 bucks and I spend like 15 on a tiny bag at Whole Foods. Well, I don't, but that's what it costs there. So definitely good deals. Yeah. <laughs> Organic apple cider vinegar. This is actually the brand I just bought on Amazon, but it's a lot cheaper to get a three pack of it here. And if you guys are fans of Dr. Esselstyn, you know how much he loves the organic balsamic vinegar for drizzling on salads. So good for your arteries. So another win. Again, just like my initial reactions, like there's so much organic stuff here and I'm super, super surprised. Like croutons, I'm looking at these massive bags of croutons, but they're all organic. So it's super cool. Like again, we don't eat croutons. We're not going to buy them, but super cool that they have this much organic. This was a nice find because you guys know we are big fans of oil pulling and we also use this for like DIY skincare and our homemade three ingredient toothpaste. So it's the organic, cold pressed, unrefined, all the things, perfect coconut oil. Another dad and kid favorite. I put these in the freezer. This is big enough to last us a while. I'm gonna put these in the deep freeze. This is Dave's killer bread. I like it, the kids enjoy it and it's super cheap for a lot, so we're getting it. Organic strawberries, good find. Honestly, you guys, the reason we joined was because of the frozen fruit. We knew that they had good frozen fruit and we're spending an arm and a leg on frozen fruit at Whole Foods. So these are massive bags. They're organic and they're super affordable. So again, converted the cold plunge into a deep freeze for this reason but we did actually get a new cold plunge. So more on that coming soon, but the mango we bought here last week was super good too. And other places, the mango's kind of hit or miss. So we're pleased, we're happy with the frozen foods. If nothing else, it's worth the frozen food. So these are not organic, but I noticed it does say tested for pesticide residue. It doesn't say what the results were, so I'm inconclusive on this but I think it's a step in the right direction. And if you don't have access to a Whole Foods where we get our organic wild blueberries, this is a good option because wild blueberries are exponentially higher in antioxidants than regular blueberries. Frozen mango is a staple. We love to let these thaw and eat them fresh and we load them up in our daily green smoothie. Our other favorite, we love to snack on these thawed as well, and they're always in our morning oatmeal when we make it on the stove top. And then I see over here, they also have big frozen packs of Sambazan acai, which we are huge fans of. You can get a 12 pack for $12. I'm also seeing massive bags of frozen green beans and broccoli, so those are very good finds as well for super cheap. We're gonna investigate the organic orange juice not from concentrate it is pasteurized obviously one ingredient organic orange juice this coconut water is like 11 bucks and no joke at whole foods it's 10 bucks for like one tall bottle of it so this is a super good deal they have organic single ingredient bagged tea for life <laughs> that would get me through a third of the year so we don't find plant-based milk to be an essential, but our top pick for the most nutrient dense, especially for small children, is organic soy milk. We buy a brand that has two ingredients, the only two necessary, water and organic soybeans. So I'm gonna see what theirs has in it, because it's organic. It says vanilla flavored, so I'm sure there's more to it. We've got 
organic soy base, which is filtered water, soybeans, organic sugar. The sugar is a no-go. So we're gonna stick with our brand we get elsewhere. The reason we typically don't advise you to spend your money on plant milks is because almond, oat, all of these other varieties are usually pretty low in calories and nutrition, especially if you're trying to replace certain nutrients from dairy milk like vitamin D and calcium. You're better off getting those nutrients from other sources. You're not going to get them from almond and oat milk, but oat milk is probably the best tasting in my personal opinion. So as far as nutrition, go with an organic soy milk. That being said, they do have a one ingredient organic almond milk but you could almost save your money by buying bulk almonds and making your own nut milk at home. So they have like a massive walk-in refrigerated area with like huge bags of carrots and very staple essential veggies. Overall, I think I was kind of underwhelmed by their organic produce selection. Well, I am in here and honestly, they have a lot to choose from, but this bag of carrots it's almost too big for us. Now, if you're juicing, that's amazing. You know, juice your carrots and buy this massive bag. We're gonna pass because it's honestly too many carrots for us. We just don't have a big enough fridge. If we had a big enough fridge, I probably would buy those. What I am gonna buy is this big box of spinach. It's less than five bucks, such a good deal. They do have quite a bit of organic veggies, just not as much uh, organic fruit. So we're a little disappointed about that. Um, but I am getting an organic box of bananas and there's some apples and a few other things we might pick up too, like mangoes, we'll see. Hummus is the one area where we kind of bend the rules when it comes to oil because we don't typically make our own homemade hummus. It's just easier to buy it, especially for the kids. So it does have oil in it, but other than that, it's organic and has very simple, straightforward ingredients. I'm actually kind of a date snob. I buy mine fresh, the wet packs of Medjool dates from Bautista Organic Date Ranch, also called Seven Hot Dates. They're so juicy and soft and good. You don't have to soak them when you're using them to blend for baked goods or date paste or smoothies. That being said, they do have organic dates here and they look pretty decent. We have organic crunchy munchies, so kid-friendly little apples, which is nice. But I'm definitely not an apple fan. I'm a Honeycrisp fan. <laughs> Europe actually banned non-organic apples, if that tells you anything. They are one of the most heavily pesticide-ridden fruits, so definitely opt for organic. They've got lots of other varieties. I see Fuji and Gala, and then those little snack apples I showed you. So lots of options. So if you're less concerned about organic, at least look into the EWG's yearly list they put out with the Dirty Dozen and Clean 15. So the Dirty Dozen is the 12 most pesticide ridden produce items. So apples are always on there, strawberries, usually anything with a thin skin or a skin that you're consuming you want to buy organic and then the clean 15 are produce items like oranges where there's a thick skin you're unpeeling so it's not as essential to buy organic or pineapples are another good example as well because we have found it super hard to find a good ripe organic pineapple so sometimes we do get conventional pineapple and they're so good besides food they've got other things like pots and pans maybe you're in the market for new pots and pans Maybe you want to start cooking more, especially if you're doing this whole food plant-based thing. Come here and get yourself some nice stainless steel pots and pans. So these Calphalon pots and pans are 200 bucks. We spent easily twice that for basically the same product. When we got married, they're going to last a lifetime. We love them, but this is an unbeatable deal. So good. Now I'm in the blender aisle. Seriously good deals again. So they've got a Vitamix for way less than you can buy it online. This is a super good deal. They also have the Beast Blender. They've got mixers, air fryers. So again, come here, not just for some frozen fruit, some of the produce we're buying, but definitely for your like kitchen tools, blenders, pots and pans, knives, etc. Good deals here. So we found organic Brazil nuts, which are what you need for your selenium. One a day will give you enough selenium. We usually put them in our smoothies. The kids munch on them too. And then organic whole cashews for making all kinds of dips, dressings, sauces, and just snacking on. The kids love cashews. Max, what do you think? Organic sprouted pumpkin seeds and salt. 
We don't need those, but that's a good find. So in conclusion, if you are wanting to do a whole foods plant-based diet and steer towards lots of organic, Costco definitely has the staples. Everything you would need from blending smoothies, making fresh salads, nuts and seeds and oats and things for baking, bulk bananas for everything. So overall, Costco is definitely not a one-stop shop for us, but it's definitely a great place to save money and make our other grocery shopping less expensive so we can maybe just focus on buying more fresh produce there and then stocking up on a lot of dry goods and frozen things here. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 